Hey everyone, I'm back and this time with a brand new PCB design. If you saw my last PCB design, then you'll know that I ran into a ton of issues while I was designing it. Well, this time I have way more knowledge and I ran into, so far, I've run into a lot less issues and I think that this product is overall a lot better than the first. For this layout, I decided that I wanted the overall form factor to be a 60%. So I fired up KLE and this is the layout that I came out with. This layout is very similar to the standard 60%, except I added the 1.75 U right shift and dedicated arrow keys. I know what everyone's gonna say. Why didn't you just use layers? And the answer is pretty simple, because I wanted dedicated arrow keys. This time around, I figured that my KiCad design would go a lot faster. I planned on using the Elite C microcontroller, so that way I could not have to put in all the logic of the crystal and capacitors and everything for uh, the actual microcontroller itself. And I would only have to wire the PCB matrix um, on my actual keyboard. However, during the design, because of the footprint size of the Elite C, I realized that I wouldn't be able to um, make the keyboard the way I wanted to. You see, I wanted it to be the standard 60% form factor and I wanted it to be able to fit in most 60% cases. And with the microcontroller, it would have conflicted with the switches with the placement of the USB. So I decided to just scrap the idea and just essentially use the exact same wiring setup for the microcontroller that I used for my previous PCB design. One major mistake I made with the last product was not designing the outline in a CAD software before bringing it into FreeCAD. Uh, FreeCAD isn't the best, I mean, FreeCAD is a great tool, but it isn't the best at drawing outlines. Um, so, it, so I would really recommend that if you're designing your own PCBs, you do them in some sort of CAD software. I used FreeCAD um, just because I wanted to try to learn FreeCAD. The next hurdle was the USB-C port. And first step was actually finding a component that I wanted to use for it. Well, I didn't want one that was SMD um, soldered because a lot of SMD USB-C components are, well, they're really hard to solder. The pins have a really small pitch and it's really hard to solder by hand. And I didn't want to have to have this um, build SMD assembled. So with that in mind, I decided that I wanted a through hole factor for the USB-C port. And I remembered that my Discipline keyboard, uh, the Discipline designed by Cozy from Foodie, has an actual through hole USB-C port. So I just looked, and since his design is open source, I just looked it up on GitHub and I was able to see exactly which port he used and I found the documentations for it and the footprints for it and I added it to my design. Now, before this design, I had never used a USB-C connector. And for those of you who don't know, there are a lot of connections with the USB-C connector. And specifically, there are connect some connectors you don't have to worry about when you're wiring them up unless you're using certain functionalities, but others you do. So I had to do quite a bit of reading and documentation for the USB-C standard um, so I could find out, you know, what was the best way of handling these connections. Um, like, you know, which type of resistors I should use and, you know, how I should wire things together. After I finished up with the USB-C port, I got onto what has been my favorite part of this design so far, and it's working on the silkscreen art. So I've seen some amazing silkscreen art on like hardware badges and other things like that. And I decided that I wanted to add my logo to the silk screen of the newest design. It was actually pretty straightforward. You know, once I got it, uh, once I got it converted in KiCad properly and was able to get it um, into as a footprint and actually use it on my board, it actually went pretty easy. And I had to say, it looks really cool in the render. Then the last step was after I felt good about everything, I just had to order everything through KiCad. Uh, you know, unfortunately I did order during the Lunar New Year holiday, so it did have some delays, but here they are. Now these came out amazing. I mean, the logo came out like nice and crisp and well-placed. Um, the black solder mask just, the black solder mask just gives a premium feel to the overall design itself. And I mean, just overall, I'm really happy with how the design came out. Much more satisfied than my first uh, attempt at designing a PCB for sure. Now, if you wanna see the PCB in action, you're gonna have to wait till my next video. Don't worry, it should be coming out pretty soon, um, but in it, I'm gonna test the PCB in an alu case, and I'm also gonna add some sick GMK keycaps uh, when testing. So hopefully it'll be a good sounding build, much better than uh, the case I tried to design myself. If you watch that, and if you wanna see that video, uh, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. Well, that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please leave a like. If you like the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Maybe watch some of the other videos on the channel. Um, yeah, so stay tuned um, because I'm always uploading more keyboards, coding, stuff and things. So, all right, I'll see ya.